Shalom, this is Ephraim Buckwald. A little depressed over the latest news from Israel, uh, the incredible bombardments that they have endured, that the Israeli citizens are endured on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, and upset that this battle continues and uh, becomes more and more bloody, killing civilians on both sides. The Torah tells us in the name of Bilam, even Bilam, the enemy of the Jewish people, said, Heinam levadad yishkom, that the Jewish people are a nation that dwells apart. They're really separate from the world. And uh, in the coming week's Parsha, where it says, Vayishar Yaakov levado, that Jacob remained alone, the Jewish people are a lonely people. And we see that every single day. Every nation has a right to defend itself. The Americans blasted the Germans without concern for civilians, but Israel doesn't have a right to defend itself. The 30, 40,000 Syrians who have been killed in the war and the civil war going on in Syria, nobody raises any questions. And if they are raised, nobody's doing very much about it, but the whole world is up in arms condemning Israel for defending itself. The truth of the matter is, is that we have to defend ourselves. It's impossible to live with shells and bombs and missiles coming down at all times, and people can't walk in the streets safely. Israel has to defend itself, and we have to support that effort. This coming week is uh, Thanksgiving. Although it's not a Jewish festival, it is a Jewish festival. For the Jewish people, Thanksgiving is every single day because we thank God for being with us every single moment, every single day for the countless and tens of thousands of miracles that he performs of us with us every single moment. Let us hope that this Thanksgiving will be a festival of joy, of happiness, of peace. May the Almighty enlighten the eyes of our enemies so that they will see that we should negotiate to achieve peace and may peace prevail over the whole world so that this Thanksgiving can be an ultimate Thanksgiving.